I'm Julie Lynn, and this is Ronnie Barnett's Boom Boom Room, brought to you by Whataburger. One of us is an internationally beloved rock star who has performed all around the world. He's a member of the Hollywood rock and roll elite. He owns records from the late Rod McEwen's personal collection. He's pals with Frank Stallone, and he has a legitimate gold record to his name. The other one of us is a weird and lonely guy that sits in his room making YouTube videos and is in desperate need of a friend. Hi, it's me, Steve Schnee, the CD junkie, and I'd like to welcome you all to Ronnie Barnett's Boom Boom Room. He's lean and linky and he knows how to zoom. Check out Ronnie Barnett's Boom Boom Room. In this series, I chat with musician and all-around great guy, Roddy Barnett, about some of the really cool music-related promotional items and rock and roll bric-a-brac that make up just a small portion of his personal collection. And now, here's the star of our show, Ronnie Barnett. Hey, Steve. Welcome to the room. Hey, I'm trying thank to get you. you in here for a long time. <laughs> okay. Let's see what else we got here. Ah, here we go. Now, this, this band... A lot of my Boston friends who grew up in the in the the punk new wave age always talk about what a great band Nervous Eaters were. Wow. Okay. And uh, and they're so disappointed in the major label debut on Electra by the Nervous Eaters. Yeah. That said, I didn't see the Nervous Eaters. I'm sure they were a great rock band, but I think if you take that record on its own terms, it's just a great new wave record. Um, it is absolutely. Yeah, I mean the songs are great. I mean uh, I even compare some of the songs that like. My friends stand by like, oh, it was Stonesy and it was a great song. I think it's better on the record. Sorry. But uh, yeah. this is Never Cedar's Fork, which, which doubles as a pin. <laughs> okay. Now, did you know that right away or did you discover that by accident one day? It took me years. It took me years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was by accident. Um, there's, the, there's the Electro logo on the back, by the way. Yeah, Wounded um, Bird, I think, released the or uh, reissued the CD version, right? They did. They yeah. did. They did. Uh, yeah, which it's Wounded Bird, so it may or may not still be in print. But Yeah, exactly. Yeah, great record. And then the record, if you remember the record cover, it had like bite marks in it. Yeah, and, like, yeah. A chunk missing in the shape of yeah. a mouth, um, which must have cost a fortune. But never see this fork. I love that item. Amazing. And while we're on the subject of things that double as pins... Here is a UFO mechanics <laughs> wrench. <laughs> and uh, I've already set it up. You know where this is going. It was a pin. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, I've never actually used these pins, but, uh, you know, they're not the best quality. But uh, I love UFO uh, mechanics. It's kind of the, yeah, it's, it's not that great a record. It's got a great cover, but uh, uh -huh. not their best. But, you know, it was 81. It's getting just kind of getting down to it there but uh yeah yeah exactly. I, I do love i do love this item the ufo mechanics pen amazing or wrench as i prefer to call it yeah <laughs> uh have you ever fixed right. anything with it uh I, I have not but it's there for me it's not adjustable but uh <laughs> it's, it's there for me all right you're gonna like this one i don't know if you've ever seen this the dave edmonds repeat when necessary scotch tape dispenser <laughs> Which, is, uh, i gotta admire the the uh yeah the brain power to think of this that is a super cool and b what the fuck i mean who thought <laughs> who who thought of that idea but I mean, that is yeah uh, some amazing. genius repeat when necessary how can we tie that in <laughs> scotch tape dispenser still the original tape i've never changed the tape out on this or wow I'd be scared to actually open this, but uh, yeah, well, doesn't say doesn't say swan song anywhere, but it does have the lettering from the record, so it's that's you know. amazing. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure they probably ordered that, um, and just had it printed out, and people were probably going, "Oh, what's this for? You know, what is this?" Yeah, yeah, no, a lot of these things, a lot of these things were regional too. Like, like maybe the the the. The West Coast market had these printed yeah. up. You know what I mean? Yeah. For their accounts. And, yeah. You know. Um, Amazing. I don't know the history. I, I don't know the history, but there you go. Um, let's see. Here's another item you're going to like. I'll try to get a... You can see this. 
This is the Vapors Turning Japanese Chopsticks. Holy cow. Still in the, wow. still in the package. Hold on uh, here. Hold on. Drool. <laughs> Got to wipe the drool away. I that, wanted to include I, some items to make you drool. Yeah. That is amazing. But uh, yeah, an open package. So I'm not, I, I would imagine the chopsticks don't have any printing on them. It's because it's just a, a sticker on the packaging there, which. Yeah. So it's still sealed though? Still sealed. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a little flap there, but uh, turning Japanese. I'd like to think all these items help make it a hit. You know, that some <laughs> program director got, got these and was like, I'm going to add that song. You know, whatever it was, it worked, right? It was a hit. Yeah, Everybody exactly. Everybody knows Turning Japanese. Everybody knows Turning Japanese. They might not know who did it, but they know Turning Japanese. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the new Vapors album? I am. I am. I love the, uh, I love the song. I pre-ordered. I, I, too bad we don't have it now like we're supposed to, but I understand them pushing it back another month. And um, Yeah. Yeah, it's not, you know, like um, like a lot of bands, uh, Boomtown Rats, uh, you know, make records that try to sound modern, you know? Um, right, right. Which, in, in my mind, doesn't please anybody because you're not going to pick up that new audience and you're just disappointed as an old fan. And uh, the Vapors, you know, as far as I can tell by judging from one song, they made a record that sounds like the Vapors. So. Actually, uh, there's been two songs released so far, uh, Crazy and the title track. The title track is just as good. It's like, holy oh. crap, Fenton can just knock these things out. You know, it just has, the thing I always notice about Dave Fenton, and I've said it many times, is, is you know, some artists write a, a, a great chorus, and then they just go, this is such a great chorus, let's just knock out a verse and a bridge to get to this great chorus. But it's like, Fenton has 17 great choruses, and he puts them, and he takes three of them, and creates a verse bridge and a chorus because each thing is so catchy you know yeah, what i mean no, absolutely nothing is wasted on, on nothing is wasted on a vapors record no no and, no and as you say those songs are well crafted they're not yeah tossed off yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly so yeah but yeah that's awesome so okay what's next love the vapors uh okay uh well since i just talked about them hang on let me dust this <laughs> <laughs> let me dust this off here is the Boomtown Rats tonic for the troops. Uh, wow. Whiskey glass, I, I guess. Uh, there are the Amazing. guys. And Does it have a, the tiger on it? Or is it there's just the a lettering. Uh, the tiger is on it there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Nice call, wow. Steve. You know your Boomtown Rats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Again, tonic Amazing. for the troops. This is where I started with the Boomtown Rats. I don't know about yeah. you, but... Uh, I uh, read that review in Rolling Stone. I remember I had a, I want to say it was a lead review in Rolling Stone that week. And uh, yeah, fell in love. And uh, yeah, I've never had a glass of whiskey out of this, but. Uh, what about Kool-Aid? <laughs> I've never, yeah, I've never used it. I've never used it. You know, the, um, I got into the, like, I got into the rats with tonic, but I didn't fall in love with the rats until fine outer surfacing. Mm, I mean, tonic, yeah. tonic, I thought was really good. But then. After Fine Art of Surfacing, I went back to Tonic and appreciated a lot more, especially things like uh, I Never Loved David Braun, oh. uh, which is it's absolutely my favorite song on that album. Yeah, so, okay, incredible. Yeah. Incredible. I didn't even know who she was at the time. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't, even get, I didn't get the reference, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Great song. Okay, here's a... Uh... Now, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you can figure it out. I, I don't know if there's any... Usually there's a tie-in with these items, like the Dave Edmonds repeat when necessary. I've never figured out what this is. I think this is, these are the NXS blocks, okay? These are individual building blocks. Uh-huh. Uh, and that's it. There's no song title or, or name. There's the Atlantic logo up top. Uh, Interesting. I think it's from, like, this is, this is pre, um, I, I, I'm guessing this is like Listen Like Thieves era. I, it's got to be before the, the big hit years, but I could be wrong on that. See, I'm looking at it and I'm seeing, didn't they have an album out called X or 10? And I'm Ooh, looking at Ooh, you got it. Looking, you just nailed it. You just nailed yeah, it. Yeah. Yep. Thank but that's you. amazing. Again. This is constructive. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, they have the album X and there it is, the highlighted X. Jesus amazing. Christ. I need to spend more time uh, thinking about this stuff. 
<laughs> Thank you, Steve. It's all worthwhile. Just figuring that out. Um, See, this is this is what uh, uh, music nerds do. <laughs> they get yep, all excited just, about you know little alphabet blocks. Throw a subject up and just yeah, the, the conversation just starts. Yeah. Okay, I have a few of these promo address books, but I just brought out this one. This is the uh, Joe Jackson, I'm the man. Wow. Uh, address book, and it's small. I can, I'll scale it to my face. So it's a little black book. Um, and no, uh, never used. These are just blank pages or whatever, but uh, thank goodness. But uh, Oh, I'm, su yeah, some I, I'm surprised that there wasn't like, if you go to the J section, there was Joe Jackson, and then it has a number that you call, and uh, you, you can hear songs from the, from the album. Surprised they didn't uh, put that in Ooh, there. Ooh, a request. Yeah, as I look for the J's to make sure that's not there. <laughs> and yep, J section is, is blank. Uh, uh, I have a uh, Elton John, a single man, day planner, and a Leonard Skinner, one from the road, uh, day planner wow. as well mm -hmm. maybe I'll, I'll i'll pick those out for next time okay if they're if they're yeah um yeah. but the on the man yeah we all love joe jackson uh, absolutely and besides uh you know pins and uh my my i got a stand up back there for this too um i i've not found a lot of joe jackson promo items no um except a bunch see. of except a bunch of uh promo copies of jump and jive <laughs> <laughs> Sadly misunderstood at the time, but yeah, yeah. Who did look? I was a little kid. I didn't know who Louis Jordan was. I still tried to like it, though. Yeah, exactly. And now I like it a little bit. Right, when I was a kid, it. when I was a kid, it was Louis Jordan. When I read it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like yeah, is it Louis Armstrong or Louis Armstrong? I don't know. You hear people say both things. Yeah. Um, look, I don't have the reason to say it too often, but uh, <laughs> now let's move into a. Uh, I do have a lot of promo patches, but I picked out this one. This is when Asylum merged with Electra. They made wow. this patch. So you got the, the old Electra butterfly there with the uh, Asylum. Amazing. You know, gated door or whatever that is. <laughs> yeah. Wow. But uh, I just always really love this. I, I, got a, I got a thing for the uh, old Electra label. Yeah. With my, yeah. You know the folky stuff and and you know hey asylum as well i mean yeah so this would have been like 73 something like it's my guess uh Amazing. but i just love Fantastic. that Fantastic. yeah um here we go yeah it's not like you can go up on discogs and price this stuff no they're uh i remember hearing that they were starting a poster ogs i think they were calling it but i've never has it taken off i never have heard a word about it since wow um uh here is uh i really love this band bebop deluxe can you yeah. see that yeah this is a this is a modern music belt buckle uh amazing amazing and it's a promo item i you know did people manufacture bebop deluxe belt buckles i don't know i don't know yeah <laughs> i used to have i used to have a wings belt buckle back nice. in nice grade. yeah nice nice no belt yeah. buckles were big uh you know yeah. i even wore i used to tuck in my shirt as a little kid i'd wear a belt buckle <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I just, I got it. Oh, it was upside down. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> That's okay. See, I can't tell on the screen. Bebop Deluxe. Check them out. Especially in Modern Music my favorite album by them too. Oh, so, okay. Uh, recently issued in a deluxe box set in their Cherry Red series of Bebop Deluxe reissues. So. Yeah, those are, those are great. But I mean, I don't, I don't own any of them because I mean, I can only afford certain things. Gotcha. Uh, but Same here. They, put, they put so much love into those things. Yeah, that 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 box I actually bought. I've gotten the two disc versions of the other ones they've done, but uh, I did get the box of that one. Oh, good. Um, okay, here I'm going to tee you up here, Steve. I know this is one of your favorite bands, and this is a plastic clip-on pin for the band interview. Oh my! Wow. Yeah. Okay, hold on. That's a drool and also a <laughs> pure dro never never seen that before amazing yeah. it's a beautiful i i, the, I really love when, when they would do these little plastic pens like this with all the color and everything and 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 
Yeah, I love Interview too. I, I, I wish they were better known. I wish they were easier to look up. I mean, it's really tough to do a search for the band Interview. I mean, uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it might be the toughest search, you know. Uh, Amazing. I mean, I I would never have even thought something like that existed. That let's face it, this is probably as far as the promotion went for for the band. Yeah, um, and they and they probably <laughs> and they probably made six copies. The, the the five guys in the band have one, and you have the sixth one. <laughs> yeah, well, being a band member, the band member never gets. To, 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 I'm sure oh, they yeah. don't have them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, true. So. That's true. So, look, if you're watching from the band interview, give me a call. All yeah, right? please, but, uh, please. Me you and know, Steve are your biggest fans. Yeah, you know, uh, ironically enough, um, I just requested uh, on LinkedIn. I never go to LinkedIn, but somehow. I got a uh, a list of people uh, that you know you uh, you should connect to this person or whoever or you know yeah. su suggest people. One of them was the guitar player yeah. from interview. Whoa, you were suggested. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. So uh, so I suggested it, and then if he accepts my, um, I I barely know how how LinkedIn works. No, but no, he, I was gonna say I uh, yeah. Yeah. If he that. if he accepts my request or whatever i'm actually going to ask him if he wants to do an interview for the for my podcast beach blanket In fort bingo interview with interview yeah love pew, it love it pew, pew, no 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 mind. and i i think you told me in the past that you i mean talk about a band that should be reissued on cd you know a, a two for a two disc box set with extra stuff i mean look me and you, you would buy it yeah, well, me, you, and probably eight <laughs> other people. But yeah. um, you know, if you threw on the Peter Gabriel uh, produced demos, that would suck in the Genesis people. Ooh, that's a good angle. I didn't know about that. See, yeah, that's a good angle. That's a good angle. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, what else? Let's try. Uh, let's try and make it happen. All hold right. on, I gotta wipe away the rest of the drool there. Okay. Thank you, Ronnie, for allowing us uh, to visit your Boom Boom Room and for uh, uh, showing us some of these great items that you have. And uh, we look forward to coming back and seeing more. Thank you, buddy. Always a pleasure. He's lean and linky and he knows how to zoom. Check out Ronnie Barnett's Boom Boom.